So how did the Las Vegas real estate market fare for May 2019? Well, that's what we're talking about today. And we're starting right now. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, a realtor here in Las Vegas, Nevada with the O'Hare team at Urban Nest Realty. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing by clicking one of those buttons down below and even that bell for notifications. Welcome to the June issue of my monthly Minute Market Update for Southern Nevada. Today, obviously, I will be going over May 2019 numbers. As house hunters may have noticed, home prices are not climbing as fast as they were from a year ago. And they're not selling as quickly either. But does this downshift signal something more ominous ahead? I don't know. You can never rule out another housing crash, which Southern Nevadans know all too well. But just because the market has cooled off a bit, does not mean that we are in the early stages of a collapse. Despite the slower growth rate, resale prices are still climbing in Las Vegas, but they haven't reached their pre-recession peak just yet. Resales gained speed last month. According to the Greater Las Vegas Association of Realtors, there were 3,821 single-family houses that sold in May, up 14.2% from April and up 4.5% from May 2018. And the medium sales price of single-family homes which compromises the bulk of the market, was $300,000 in May, unchanged both from March and April medium sales price. Compared to a year earlier, the medium house price was up 1.7% from last month, the smallest year-over-year -year gain in seven years, according to the GLBAR, which is the Greater Las Vegas Association of Realtors. Southern Nevada also had a total of 4,597 new listings for the month of May, up 6.1% from April and up 16.5% from the prior year. However, there were a total number of 7,855 single family houses listed without offers at the end of May, up 5.6% from April and up 90.7% from the prior year. There's still about a 2.4 month of housing supply in Southern Nevada, which is down 7.5% from April, but up 82.6% from the prior year. And 55.1% of the closings for the month of April was on the market 30 days or less. Builders are also selling fewer homes in Southern Nevada with 3,168 closed sales through this year at the end of April, down 3.1% for the same four month stretch last year, according to the Las Vegas based Home Builders Research. Bottom line is this, the tumbling sales are likely a response to the increasing prices. By all accounts, there's plenty of demand for housing out there, given the Valley's growing population and shrinking unemployment. But whether buyers can afford what's out there or willing to pay the asking price is a whole nother issue. Market insiders often say that a 2-5% to increase in appreciation is healthy and normal. What we had been seeing in the last 7 years was 20-30% to appreciation. And what I've said in my other videos again, I think we are finally stabilizing. The market is reaching a plateau. I think we're going to see a dip but it's not gonna be like it was back in 2008, uh, 10, 11 years ago. We are just finally stabilizing to what the prices should be selling for and not what the sellers think they should be selling for. I can only guess where the prices and sales will end up this year, but for sure the market is showing signs of stability. With the inventory level still being at a 2.4%, that's telling me that it's still in a seller's market. The only concern is that homes aren't selling like they were selling last year. You could put your house on the market and not do a darn thing to it and it would sell like that. Sellers are going to have to work to sell their home. They're going to have to do the dirty work that requires to get their home ready. 
and I've done a video on this, why is it my house selling, or 10 staging tips to sell your home. The key is to get your home ready for the buyers. So when they walk in that door, they know that they don't have to do a thing to it. It's move-in ready, literally move-in ready. They do not have to clean it. They don't have to do anything. We had two listings last month that went really fast. Our first listing was on the market for only four days, it was priced right at market value, it was in a great area, and it sold like that. And then we had another listing, also in a great area, and that was on the market for 21 days. And both of these sellers staged their home accordingly, they decluttered, they cleaned, and we were able to sell it fast and make the money at the same time. As a buyer, and I say this all the time, and people are like, eh, you say this all the time, it's gonna crash. I can't predict what's gonna happen next year. I have a feeling we're not gonna crash for a while. We have the Raiders coming next year. We still have tons of people exiting um, California, Seattle, even Colorado. So I don't see us plummeting for at least another couple more years. The key is actually having a great realtor that knows how to negotiate on both ends. So I was talking about our listings that we had that we sold relatively fast. Uh, we also helped two buyers. One of the buyers, we were able to decrease the price by 7,000 and have the sellers pay for 2,000 of their closing costs. That home was only on the market for about 21 days. So you never know when you can be able to strike a deal. As a expert in the field, I'd be able to negotiate a really great deal for you. Our other buyer that we just went into contract last week, we were able to have the sellers pay for 2,000 of their closing costs. So again, the key is having a great negotiator on your side, whether you're buying or selling um, in this market. If you would like to download the full report provided by the Greater Las Vegas Association of Realtors, I posted a link down in the description below. So if you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, share with a friend, and consider subscribing to my channel if you're interested in learning everything and anything about the Las Vegas Valley. Thank you so much for watching today, and I hope to see you guys on the next one.